Well, hello, everybody. Hey, happy Wednesday to you all. It's J Po here with the Purple Posy. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing today? Y'all having a good day? Y'all having a good week? What's been going on? Um, I'm getting ready to go live in my group. And so I thought I'd jump on here. I was just doing a little bit of painting. Um, while I wait, my kids are outside and it's quiet. So I thought, mm, I'm gonna jump into the um, into the stain, the stain, the paint studio and paint for you guys. Hey Dixie! Um, and I'm working on this blue buffet. Uh, this is a custom and if you guys are new to following me or if you're not, I, I don't know if you remember, I painted a blue buffet like probably over a year and a half ago. And that's super bright. Let me turn this down. Um, and it's kind of, it's, it's what was used on, for the inspiration for the, um, hey Terry, for the class that Malia and I did, the uh, in-person Cut Me Pretty Paint class uh, here in Texas last summer. It's my blue buffet, it's got like a little boho blending on the side, and in the front on the drawers, I hear my kids. And uh, so I have a custom that I'm working on and that's exactly what she wanted on her buffet. I hear my kids are gonna bust in here I just know it um, so I thought I'd bring you guys on here and let you guys see me blend the side and the products I'm working with are all Dixie Belle products I am a content creator for Dixie Belle if you don't know that I am a content creator for Dixie Belle and I do go live on their page every every two weeks typically on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time um, but I'm working with so the base coat here is in the Navy so I'm working within the Navy I'm blending in some uh, pure ocean and some hay blue. Just join. What are you doing to Will Tiffany? I'm working on a buffet. I'm working on a buffet. It's a custom buffet, um, and it's it's a it's a popular blue buffet that I have done on my page before about a year and a half ago, and that's what she wanted me to recreate um, on this piece. So if you're new here, I'm Jay Poe. I'm the owner and artist here at the Purple Posey. I'm a content creator for DC Bell and I'm a mentor and a coach um, at Painting Over Borders, my private membership group that I own with uh, Malia Klein of Ministry Market. And this here, guys, ooh, can't see that. That's limeade. That's the Dixie Bell limeade. I just threw my fingernails this morning because I wanted some color on my nails. So let's get started. Um, I'm so, I'm just doing some blending. Mm-hmm. Just doing some blending. When you blend, you've got to have some water. You're welcome. Uh, this is just a fine mist water bottle you can find on the Dixie Bell website. I've posted a link there. You guys can um, get all of these products there on that link. When they use that link, you help support my small business and I would appreciate it. Uh, if you wanna try Dixie Bell products, I highly recommend them. They're so easy to work with. They're amazing products, great coverage, water-based, no VOCs, all this stuff. Hey, Erin. Um, so, we got a base coat on here. Again, it's in the navy. All I'm gonna do is simply wet down my piece a little bit. And the reason I do that is to make my paint go a little bit further because I don't need um, a whole lot of paint. This paint, actually covered really well on the first coat so I'm just kind of going over it again because I've got to have the paint on there for my blending um, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the outsides first because I'm gonna do mostly the blending here and so I want that portion to be wet um, at the very last so what's everybody been up to you guys still um, where are you watching from? Y'all let me know. I'd love to know that, first of all. Are y'all still required to stay home? Are things returning back to normal? What's going on in your area? What's going on? I don't want me to start a controversial, controversial thing. I just, I'm just curious. Because um, I just realized as that was coming out of my mouth that... That could be semi-controversial, so maybe we shouldn't talk <laughs> about that. 
Hey, 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 Kelly. I'm still here with the kids. I'm still here with the kiddos for now. Um, we, uh, my, I, we limit our kids' electronic time, you know, the times that they're on their phones and video games and stuff like that. We've always done that, but um, in the last week or so, we've decided to give them more time on their electronics. You know, they can't see their friends, and that's when they talk to them and things like that, with the caveat that they spend more time outside, even more time outside than they have been. Uh, it's warming up, and... You know, I don't see a problem with it anyways, but so we've been outside more, which is super nice for mama because it's quiet. It's quiet in the house. Um, so this layer that I'm putting on is a super thin layer. It's almost like a, almost like a wash because there's so much water on here. You can kind of see it dripping. Um, but like I said, I didn't need a whole lot of paint on here because the paint covered pretty well um, on the base coat, but I've got to have wet paint to blend. Um, Dixie Belle paint is self-sealing self and self-leveling, so I can't reactivate it with water. Uh, so I've got to put this other coat on here. But to save your paint, you just kind of water it down. Put her down all good. Save you on, save you some paint. I just finished my um, daughter's bathroom. I don't know if y'all have seen those pictures yet. I meant to send Dixie Belle a picture of the jar of paint that I used so they could see just how little of paint it actually took to do her entire bathroom. I mean, literally like this much out of the jar. It was incredible. Good morning, good morning. Have my baby monitor on in Olivia's room. I don't know if you guys can hear that. She's in there singing. I don't know what she's singing, but she's singing. Okay, so we've got all this on and we're gonna keep it wet. So I'm gonna mist it again. Mist it again, we gotta keep it wet. If you're not comfortable with your water bottle, you can always, as you go in with your, um, I know, Talisha, I know. You can always mist your um, your paintbrush instead of your actual piece if you're not comfortable with, you know, using this bad boy right here. It's always an option. So first I'm gonna go in with a pure ocean and I'm gonna load up my paintbrush pretty good. That's a lot. So I'm gonna load it up pretty good and I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go right in and I'm actually gonna add more. I've already done the other side. I probably should have showed you all that first. Where we're going with this. Um, but it's too late now. I mean, it's not. I could always take you over there, but I'm lazy and I'm already sitting down. Yeah, we'll see when we're done. I'm gonna get more. So I'm adding in quite a bit of pure ocean here. And I'm not worried so much about this up here. I'm just trying to get it in the center. And then I'll blend the top and the bottom. And a little bit more. And I don't care if it's streaky or not, because I'm gonna add in a little bit of, um, oh, I need a paper towel, hang on. A little bit of the haint blue. A little bit of the haint blue. Tape on the popo. <laughs> Delisha, every time I see my license plates, I always, always think of you. So I pretty much think about you daily. <laughs> you guys, I have to tell you this story. So Talisha came to my class um, this summer, and I have personalized license plates. They say JPO TPP. JPO, the purple posy, right? TPP. And so we're like, I think we're like in the middle of the class, or we're about to get started. I don't even know. And Talisha just bust out like... You really have license plates that stand for J-Po the Popo? And I'm like, no, it's the Purple Posy. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so funny. And now I cannot look at my license plates 
without thinking about Talisha because I, <laughs> I never saw my license plate that way until Talisha pointed it out. And I was like, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of the um, in the navy back in to the top here and then at the bottom as well, just a little bit because I've got a little like uh, overspray from the water and then I'm gonna do a little feathering and blending right here. And again, this is, this is boho, so it doesn't have to be a very smooth, um, what's it called? Transition. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. So now I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of um, Haint Blue. And when I say tiny bit, this is what I meant. This is what I mean. She did. Talisha is a hoot. I'm so glad she came. I'm so glad I got to hug her neck. So I'm adding just a tiny bit of Haint Blue. And this is gonna give me kind of a streaky effect. Now on the last piece that I did, that she's kind of wanting me, wanting me to mimic, I used white wax, a lot of white wax to kind of, um, brighten some areas and I'm kind of trying to get that effect without using white wax which I still may do it but um, I thought I'd bring in the the haint blue to kind of get that same effect so that's where the, that's why I'm using the haint blue and so it's gonna look a little streaky which is fine um, I can't remember I think I posted a picture of this blue but thing not that long ago kind of like a throwback or hey I'm about to repaint a piece like this um, on my page I can't remember for sure okay same thing I'm gonna grab some uh, in the Navy and I, I don't switch brushes if you've noticed I, I have not switched brushes um, some people don't like that and kind of make remarks but that's just the way I do it That's just the way. Every artist has a different way of doing things, and it's so cool. I love to get on um, the Dixie Bell page and watch the other brand ambassadors and the other content creators and see how they do, like their blending, to see how they do their ombres, because everybody has a different way of doing it. And they all turn out so beautiful. You know what I mean? I just love, I love watching the different ways of doing things. And you can watch, you can try it and say, okay, well, you know, J-Po's way of doing it didn't work for me. So maybe I'll look at, you know, Malia or Kristana or, you know, whoever and try their way. You can find inspiration from any of them. Okay, I actually want to bring that down some. So I'm just going to go up and down all the way. You see how it's coming down a little bit? I hope you guys can see that. It was too much in the in the center there. Yeah, that's better. This is a little dry. Much better. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, now. I want a little bit on the sides, but not too, too much. Um, feels like old times. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Um, I want to try something just super quick. Nope, it's not there. It's not there. And were you in Talisha? I, I can still put you guys in timeout. Okay, I can, I can still put you guys in timeout. Okay. Don't think for a second. I can't. All right, so I'm grabbing a little bit of Haint Blue, okay, and I'm just gonna, th I'm gonna throw it on here. Nobody freak out. I'm gonna throw it on here. I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna throw a little bit of In the Navy back on my brush, and I'm just gonna lighten this up over here on this side. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And this is like basically what I did with the white wax on the other piece. So this is how I'm using the Haint Blue. So it's kind of giving it almost a highlighted look. 
in a way. I don't know. I like to do a lot of highlighting with the same color but in shades lighter. But interestingly enough, I'm using a very dark blue with the turquoise to do this. I know, Carrie, right? It feels like, yeah, I know. I don't go live on my page near like I need to because I'm always in the group. When I have free time, I'm in the group. And so I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. What? Okay, well, ask your brother or your sister. Um, good morning, Mary. Good morning. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Um, this barely, this barely any. I'm going to throw it on there. Just throw it on there. A little bit of navy. This side had already dried, so that's why I'm doing it this way because the paint had already dried over here. So I can't really blend. So I'm having to basically blend, I don't want to say on my brush, but yeah, Talisha, get your butt back in there. Get your butt back in there. Um, I don't even know how to explain. It was already dry, so I couldn't really blend with the wet paint, so I'm creating wet paint on my brush and blending that way. And just creating a lighter little portion on this little edge here. And boom, that's perfect. There we have it. That's, that's exactly what I wanted, right there. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, short and sweet. Just wanted to jump on. I'm trying to, uh, you know, I hound my group members about, you know, you need to go live, you need to go live, and I don't do it. I don't do it. <laughs> like I said, when I have time and I do go live, it's in the group. So technically I'm live all the time, just not on my page. So um, again, I wanted to come on here, show you kind of how I did my blending. Um, I worked on the front actually, was it last week? I think it was last Thursday I was on the Dixie Bell page and I actually painted with Malia Malia and I used to have a regular paint show every Saturday at 1 come to a pretty paint show um, Tiffany this bottle is actually just water I do have another bottle over there with vinegar water that I will use sometimes and my ratio of vinegar water Everybody is different. My personal ratio is, my gosh, 50-50. Um, so 50% white distilled vinegar and 50% water. And depending on the look I'm going for, if I want kind of a distressed or streaky or that kind of a look, if I want my paint to kind of separate, um, if I've got like a base coat and I'm painting over it, I'll, if I want to like spritz it and the paint will like separate and kind of that paint, that uh, base color will kind of peek through, I'll use vinegar water. Also the vinegar water I use, so like if I'm done with this brush and I'm going over to like another brush or whatever, I'll squirt it down with vinegar water really, really, really good and um, wrap it up in like a baby wipe until I can get it in water and it will make cleaning the brush a little bit easier when I can actually get it into water or to clean it. That's my vinegar story and I'm sticking to it. Um, okay, well you guys, again, you guys have posted a link there. You can get these products. If you've never tried Dixie Bell, I encourage you to try it. They're super, e Dixie Bell products are super easy to use. It's a one-stop shop. You can get everything you need. Um, I know Amber, as soon as this dang horrible COVID Rona, Corona apocalypse is over, we were literally two or three days into planning our next class, not even playing. I was about to book tickets, uh, airline tickets and all of this hit and, um, we had to kind of stop. 
um, it came to a screeching halt. It's like, ah, it stopped. So we're kind of waiting to see what happens. Um, but uh, the next class is for sure happening. Uh, we just don't know when. And it'll be in Kansas City. So uh, anyways, we can have a reunion then. We can have a reunion then. Okay. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys when I see you, I guess. Thanks for joining. Love you all. Bye.